So I want to show you the kit that came for free with my subscription, my demonstrator packet. And then I'm going to show you one that came with the January 2018 packet. So I am going to tilt the camera down. So this box here. So what's nice first about the box is that it comes in a nice box. And this box is actually reusable. And you can also flip it inside out and repackage a gift in it and decorate it as well. So this box here is for the June 2017 issue. So they sent me a back issue of the paper pumpkin and I've already received this but I want to show you how it's been packaged. So let me change the battery in my camera and I will be right back. So I'm back and I have a new battery, but this is how the box will actually be shipped to you and your mailing information will be on the top. And so your first step is to use a pair of scissors to release the sticky tape or dot that they put on it to seal the box. That's the only thing that's holding the box closed. And now we can open the box. So I like Stamping Up's packaging. They make sure that they use nice sturdy boxes. Always comes wrapped in this baby blue tissue paper. Don't know the color, but I'm sure it's the color of one of their ink pads. And for this month, we have two ink spots as well as a stamp set. So every month you will receive a stamp set. And every month you will see, receive at least one ink spot. This month we've got two ink spots. So I'm just going to move the tissue to the side. And then they package everything in cellophane. And all you need to do is just get some scissors and open it up. So I'll just put a little score mark and hopefully that work. Nope. Yes, it did. The first thing in the package that they always give you is instructions on how to make the projects that are included in the package. So this time in this one that's called One in a Melon. It has six cards six envelopes, and then four gift bags. On the inside, they give you all of the detail for what to stamp where, and give you photographs to go with that. In your first paper pumpkin box, they will give you a small stamp block for you to use so you can put your stamps on. So that stamp block will be big enough to put any of the stamps that are included in your Stamping Up product. So included, they will also give you any sticky dots or dimensionals needed if you need twine or threads. It could be sequins or anything else that you would need to finish the actual project. And then here are my six envelopes, my six card bases, and you don't have to do it exactly how they did it. You can also do it yourself. So now these gift bags are made out of some nice weight cardstock. And then on the inside where you would be gluing this over they already have the adhesive stuck to it so then we have some additional things that you can choose to use or not you've got some cardstock that's been watercolored for you most times they give you extra pieces to use and then we also have some tissue for our gift boxes we have some leaves that are on sticky paper that are already cut for you. 
And this one is banners and circles. And we have two of those. And then these are the actual sticky dots that come in the package. And then this piece of cardboard just keeps everything nice and flat while it's wrapped. So you can do the basic projects that come with the paper pumpkin kit. Or you can join the face group, paper pumpkin group. And you can do some of the alternates that some of the demonstrators and customers who receive paper pumpkin share. It's a wealth of knowledge there. You can also search YouTube and look for optional things that you can do with your paper pumpkin kits. So I'm going to just put this one back in the box for right now. And I want to just show you another one because I want you to see that you get different things every month. So this one was for the month of June and they normally do the month before as for as a theme. So that one was themed more for July. So this one here is the one that I received in January and it's actually for the February. It's actually for the month of February as far as usage is concerned. I'm just going to move my box out for a minute okay so first thing up again this is january 2018 packet and it's called heartfelt love notes so with this packet you can do 14 cards you have seven where you have the polka dot and then you have seven where you have the stripe and then you also have 14 envelopes and they give you all of the embellishments to make the actual card and again you have step-by-step -step instructions and what's included in the kit this month is that we have the stamp set you always receive a stamp set so let me get something to put behind this so you can see it so we have this stamp set We have the Rich Razzleberry Ink Spot. Okay, so let's continue with what's inside the package. So I stand corrected. We actually can make 16 cards this month. We have eight with the heart imprint on the front. And what's really cute is that these cards open up in the shape of a little heart. Very pretty. And then if you'd like, you can also add like a treat or a little gift card in the pocket here. So very creative on Stamping Up's part. And I think, you know, either one you could give to a male as well. I'm actually going to send one to my husband and I'm also going to send one to my daughter. So those are your 16 cards. You also have... 16 craft envelopes size to fit your card. So I like that when Stamping Up gives you base cards, they give you the appropriate size envelopes as well. These are part of the decoration that go inside. You can use these as your note cards if you like, or you can use them in other stamping projects. You do not have to use them if you don't want, but you can write a greeting or stamp a greeting onto these white cards to put inside. You have banners, and they give you two pages of those, so you actually end up with 16 banners. You have 16 of these gold foiled frames, and they're decorative. And they give you two sheets of that. And they give you two pieces of vellum. You have some hearts stamped. You have a total of eight hearts and ten vellum banners. And again, you I have never used all of the items inside of one paper pumpkin kit. So that's where the optional things come from. Or using the remaining pieces with just regular base cards that you have made yourself. And again, you have your sticky dots, you have your dimensionals, and so you also have 80 enamel shapes. And for ribbon, they have given us six yards of this fancy ribbon. And they also will tell you on the back of the sheet what's included in your kit, so they're so if there's any chance that something is missing, you can contact the company and they will be more than happy to 
fix it for you. But I have not, I have been subscribed for two and a half years and I have not had any problems with any of my paper pumpkin kit. Last month, they actually printed something in reverse. They left the wrong cut piece in and added the new cut pieces so we actually got a bonus with that and a lot of people use those in additional cards so i have never actually received anything that wasn't already corrected when it got to my home and that only happened one time in my two and a half years so that is it for this paper pumpkin review if you're interested in subscribing to paper pumpkin i'll leave my link to my stamping up website in the description box and I'll be more than happy for you to support me as I go along with this journey and I'll see you next time thanks bye bye